Hello and welcome back to the Zany Zoroastrians. So, we have got a duchy and we need to basically take the next step. What is the next step you might ask? Well, it is to get ourselves a kingdom, the kingdom of Persia to be specific, which we already control quite a lot of because all of our land is currently within that kingdom. It's going quite well actually. We control 21%, we need to control at least half of it. And the good thing is, because our liege is an empire, is an emperor level title, and we are in an empire, uh, that means we can just create the kingdom while continuing to be underneath this liege, which is cool. Uh, I should probably sway him, just make him like us a little bit more. Uh, if he came to fight us, we probably wouldn't be able to just hire some mercenaries and make the problem go away. It would be pretty serious. We also want to try and get any potential allies uh, that we can get around here uh, on our side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search our realm for people who are my religion and landed. Uh, yes. Ruler, yes. Uh, and let's sort by rank. So we have the Emir of, Kor of uh, Koristan, who I think we are already a lot allied with. Cool. We have the Sheikh of uh, Saravan, who we don't have alliance with, but we can get a non-aggression pact apparently. He doesn't like us, but we can get a non-aggression pact. Uh, why can we do that? Uh, it just says, we can form a non-aggression pact. Ooh, fantastic. Um, well, I'm going to go and figure out how to get some opinion with him. Could recruit him for Satan. Now, let's see if he'll join Satan. Uh, we've got Tiz down here. Potentially get a non-aggression pact here. Again, not going to work. Maybe with Satan. Well, let's just stick with that. Let's try and get some allies on our side. In terms of building up, um, we probably want to continue building our new capital. What can we get here? We can get uh, Castle Town soon. Let's go for Castle Town. Sure, we got a plan. Speaking with uh, Sheik Furzad, I made sure to only cautiously question the absolute power of his almighty Ahura Mazda. Regretfully, it seems my words that only irritated my acquaintance. Yeah, sure. Next one on the list. Uh, we can't recruit for Satan. Uh, because we're already doing stuff. How about now? We can't. Mm. Still can't get that to work either. Yeah, we could send gifts, but it seems quite expensive. Yeah. We'll hold off a little bit. Maybe when we're on a character that people like more, we'll be in a better position for that sort of stuff. Right. Uh, all of our... Um, well, our child is not being married off yet, but all of our brothers and sisters are betrothed, right? Betrothed. Uh, betrothed. And then your concubines. That is fine. Right. Um... I think we're good then. We can probably just unpause and let things go on. Unless there are any laws I want to change. We could become more centralized. I guess, that, is that a new law for us now? No, I don't think it is. But we could become more centralized. It allows us to hold an extra domain. Doesn't really matter. An extra um, province. Not a problem there. We could push this even further to get more tax. Uh, well, it gets us less tax and more levy. Um, how much are they giving us? They are giving us 20, which is quite a lot of our tax. Hmm. I could change that back, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much. How many troops do they provide us? Not really that many troops right now. It's only 68. So I think I prefer the money actually at this point. Although we don't have that many troops. I'm just going to hold off. Let ourselves build up. Yeah. Let's try not worrying about things. Um, Money is coming in fairly well. We have a rash. Hmm. Not good. Salman thinks you may be developing the great pox. He insists that you follow his instructions. Okay. We are certain our illness was caused by too much laughter. To make you better, he forbade everyone to tell you jokes and provided you with tedious tomes. Oh, and that worked, apparently. Oh, well, that's good. I now have a fever, however. Uh, that's not good. Oh, we have a daughter named uh, Furzan, who is inbred, and that is our sister and our daughter. Fantastic. And this one was our wife. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Perhaps it is time I asked Caliph uh, Ibrahim II to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. I'll ask him. What have we got here? Seek treatment for our illness. Oh, sure. Thinks we might be developing a great pox. Well, I'm shocked based upon his previous uh, assessment of the situation. Um, he was certain your illness was caused by too much laughter. And he gave us another 
treatment, which gives us one health instead of, uh, zero, instead of uh, 0 0.5 health, which is good, I guess. We now have a headache. Ibrahim was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with him, I'm confident I can convince some of how I like that we are and that he stands on his again gain from our friendship. Yeah, we'll talk in private. I think these days have really helped me getting to know Ibrahim and, and getting him to know and appreciate me better. We have passed most of our time in our palace discussing of the most disparate topics. Because of our high diplomacy skill, we can get 15 uh, opinion here. My palace was enriched by your visit. Nice, that's a good line. He now actually kind of likes us. Okay, good. Repulsive sores and abscesses are spreading across your body, originating from the groin. You have contracted the great pox. So, that is minus 2 health, minus 1 to all stats, minus 20% to fertility, minus 10 to attraction, and there's a chance it becomes even worse. Nope, that's it. It's still not that bad. It is only minus 2 our good symptom treatment gives us plus one health here. Yeah, so we are at minus one health, which is okay at 29. We're unlikely to just drop dead, although we also have minus two from stressed. That makes it a little bit more chance that we drop dead. Maybe it's time to stop seduction. Um, We could go theology, try and get rid of it. Could go hunting. Could go family. I don't know. Family gives us more fertility if we want to keep up the fertility. Yeah, I guess we'll go family. It's all right. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Um, what am I going to do here? My court physician has come to see you and offers you treatment for your illness. He explains there are several different types of treatment he can offer. So, we don't think we want to do the life is in your hands because that's going to give... Uh, basically, that's a roll the dice, see what happens. So, we can say, um, I trust your knowledge, a wise one. Only be safe or don't do anything. Um... Yeah, he's going to perform a mystical treatment. Let's do that. I trust your knowledge, O oh wise one. Confined to your bed, the servants told you the smoke from the pyre could be seen for miles. The lives of over two dozen fine animals had been ended in the night in a great sacrifice. As per Salmon's orders, you have been rubbing your skin with the ashes for a fortnight. I feel different. So, I'm mystically altered. So, minus one to all stats and minus one health. Really bad. I'm now paranoid, which is also really bad, and a chance I'm possessed, but it hasn't cured my disease. Okay, well, that's really bad. I'm not um, possessed, but, you know, it's still minus three health. This is kind of the level where he might just drop dead. We have a new person called Watch here. Okay, that's fine. Um, how many troops do we have now? We're still not full up. I want our, um, I want our levies to be full before I think about doing anything else. Ooh, a special tithe. I'm going to seek a treatment for our illness again. We can apparently shut the gates. Why? Is there a disease here? There is some consumption, but it's not reached us yet. I'll keep it in this map mode for a little bit. Disaster. Your fellow member of Lucifer's own cheek, Emmanuel the Drunkard, has been caught again. They spared no time before they burned him at the stake. Oh, so he's dead dead now. He's the person who recruited us, I think, unless there were multiple people with the same name, which is possible. Um, Yeah, it's time sign for me to lay low. Definitely. Have we got a mission? I think it's to sacrifice a ruler. Yeah, we don't have any rulers to sacrifice, so it is going to be a bit of a diff difficulty. We could try and capture one, like our old leash here. We could try and... Um, it's not abduct. Uh, maybe we can only abduct people who are in our court. Yeah, okay. Well, do him another mystical treatment. See if you can cure us. The moon demands your devotion, Salmon said, for handing you a pipe of something with a spicy scent. After a few talks, you looked up at the night sky and improvised the greatest poem in the world. Later, the words eluded you. I'm cured of my disease, and I'm a poet. Well, not what I expected to happen, but that's quite good. Yeah, an extra diplomacy is always nice. That is moving very close to our land. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Uh, th though my last act of worship has been some time ago, I can still feel a sense of inhuman touch upon my soul whenever I think about what I did. I've become a changed man. I'm now deceitful. So that's minus diplomacy plus intrigue. Okay. So we're a lot more sneaky now. Uh, what kind of plots can we do right now? Plot to kills, plots to revoke, which we can't actually do right now because... Um, we would need to have a holding, I think it is there. Succession can... Oh, that's a, that's success condition. Never mind. So I can't lose, choose these because... 
Uh, is a county in the held capital duchy. Is a count a uh, secondary county. Okay. Is a county held by a duke whom it's not the de jure liege. Okay. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but we can't do either of those right now. That's fine. We could uh, fabricate a claim on the Emirate of Fars. That'd be good. That is the next one along, isn't it? And that's this one. Um, that would be a reasonable amount of land, especially if he holds it all, which he does. That's three more bits of land for us. Yeah, let's start uh, our plot, right? Emirate of Fars. Now, nobody wants to join in with our plot straight away, but let's see what we got. So we got a little bit here. We can send gifts off. I am going to send a few gifts off here to people who are interested, as long as they don't want too much for a gift. That's quite a lot, but I'll still spend it. Uh, we have 50 left. Okay. Another one. Nice. Uh, I'm now out of money. That's okay. We'll auto-invite plotters and see what we got. We're up at 68%. There's a peasant's revolt against our liege. What much do we need? We need 75%. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can get there. Uh, this person's apparently able to join. But wasn't auto invited. Let's just see if we've got anyone else. You, we'll invite you as well. Uh, let's see if that's in. So that gets us up to that much. A hundred percent is just a little bit more. Gives us a lot higher chance, and we can get that with another two people in the plot. So, on, uh, how much of a gift does he want? Thirty-eight. Do we have anyone else? I think we might have to just pay the thirty-eight. Yeah, well, I'll hold off and pay the thirty-eight when we get the money. It's all right. Uh, I'm going to tell Ibrahim, our liege of my prosperous realm. With my diplomacy, we will sway him. My wife is pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? I believe Ibrahim seems to be very impressed by the tales I've spread about my realm's prosperity. Nice, he has uh, nine opinion of me now if it stayed the same. I've thought it over and I cannot be the father of my wife, uh, Matab's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Mm, I'm going to hire someone to find out. We'll go down the line. Okay. I know there must be a way to earn Caliph Ibrahim II's trust, and the best way to learn about it uh, is without a doubt talking to him. But about what? I mean, just ask him. Or, and say I'm curious about his faith. Yeah, let's be curious about his faith. Sure. The maid I hired to gain my wife Matab's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Well, that's a relief. Good. Khalif Ibrahim was happy to tell me more about the Sunni faith, and while I'm not sp uh, sparing a few questions, and while also not sparing a few questions for me about being a Zoroastrian, we ended up having a very interesting theological discussion. There's a chance I gain a sympathy for Muslim religions, which I did not gain. Okay, I was going to say that would be quite weird, being so far down the rabbit chain, and also having a sympathy for another religion. You would like to educate my daughter. That's a no from me. Um, yes, definite no from me. Was that a 10 who was willing to join here? No, I, oh, yeah, there is a 10. So I can send 24 to him, or I can send 38 to him. Well, I'm going to send uh, 24 to this guy. Invite him into my plot. That gets us at 105%. Uh, let's fabricate a claim. My wife, Matab, asked me to buy her some new clothes. Because of the pregnancy, she's outgrown most of her wardrobe. Now I feel frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. My dear, you do not need new clothes. You're already wonderful. Uh, that gets us uh, some more opinion with her. Yeah, good. Like it. Right, back here. Uh, let's do this. With the aid of your fellow conspirators, you have managed to fabricate a claim on the Emirate of Fars. Excellent. And it's a strong claim as well. Well, yes, it would be, but it can be inherited already is the nice part about it. Okay. So if I declare the war, I can just claim Fars. It would uh, break our truce, but in four years I can do that, or I can do that with the next leader. It's all good. I've succeeded with my plot as well. I like it. Any other plots we can do that seem good? No, I don't really want to kill anyone, so that's fine. I could kill him, though. If I can kill him, then I can do this plot straight away. Hmm. Let's see who else is interested. We can get 24 in there. We can get another 29 in there if the spy master. Um, let's invite him in and see how we how we go along here. That puts us up to exactly a hundred. There's another one who can. Oh, I think that one's already joined. Uh, yeah. 
We can get a little bit more joining. Hmm. But 100% is good. That's the amount you need for a plot to uh, have a chance of triggering. My liege, I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. He's not in any conspiratorial faction, so I'm going to do nothing. I can start a faction for many people for the Abbasid Empire, but n not me or any of my family, so I don't care. Interesting. Emir of Fars has an independence one going on right here. Increased council power as well as here. We don't need to worry about any of that right now, but it's interesting. A daughter was born to Emir Aram of the uh, Ishaquid Satrapi and Emir Matab of the same place named Matab. Oh, so we're just naming it after her. That's all right. She is weak. Mm, not a good trait to have. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit more money. Oh, someone left our plot. Well, that's definitely a downer. I think the spy master changed. Yeah, spy master changed. And the new one's not interested in joining. Okay. Uh, cancel the plot for just now then. Right. Uh, what else do we need to do? Well, how many troops do we have? We have almost 900. Yeah, we'll keep going. Yeah. Fellow member of Lucifer's Own was caught. Well, not a lot we can do there. Uh, we betrothed can marry. So this is our sister can marry a uh, valley. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. They have gotten married. Fantastic news. And we already have the alliance here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we could do Tainted Touch on this guy, couldn't we? Try and just lower his health. Let's try it. Let's use some dark power. What did that do? Did that make him stressed or something? Or... Did that do anything? I'm sure that's meant to pop up with an event. Maybe that just made him stressed? Oh, it gave him fatigue. Oh, I see. So we did actually... We, we uh, injected a uh, disease into him. That's fine. Consumption's still near us. With my illustrious education of all affairs of state and diplomacy, I should have no trouble finding the right way to endear myself to Caliph Ibrahim II. I'll send an envoy to his realm. Yeah. Just as expected, my diplomats were able to convince him of what an honourable and trustworthy ruler I am. A man that is well worth his respect. He likes me more now. That's what I like to see. Keep his opinion of me popping up. Praised be Araham. My black magic has borne fruit. News has reached me of the filthy idler Emir Murad's recent illness. He's suffering from cancer, and I doubt he will last very long. May demons dance on Murad's grave. Well, that's fantastic. He's at negative... Wow, he's already at negative four health, but he also has chest pains, which is another negative six. He's just gonna... He has consumption as well, I think. Oh, but then he cut off his hand, and that cured his disease. Oh, well, that's not very good. As a reigning emir, I rarely have spare time, but for my little daughter, uh, Purandokt, I would move heaven and earth. Family first. Oh, isn't that sweet? Um, this guy appears not to be dying. Very not okay with that. A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Well, let them in. Yeah, sure, why not? As the evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of your court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts in a terse command in a foreign language and the young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. So who have we got? We got a eunuch who has relatively good marshal. He's an expert in fighting in deserts. That's fantastic. I accept your gift. It's very um, acceptable. Right, uh, let's put in him as our new commander because he is probably the best commander we have. The ability to fight in deserts is fantastic. Um, he's also a strategist, which I believe is, all is again, good. So, yeah, and all of this should be deserts around here. Well, let's see, a lot of this is mountains, isn't it? Well, there's a few desert ones along the edge. Yeah, I like it. Still good. Okay, um, that's a peace offer done. 
You, you appear to not be dead yet. You do have minus health, like minus uh, three health. Is there any way I can get somebody to join a plot to kill you? Um, wait, I can ask him to end the plot, but that's not what I want to do. I want to gain a plot to kill him. See, so you have a 70%. If I can get you involved, then we can do this. Let's just have a look and see what her negatives are. She doesn't like me. Well, we can solve that. She does like... She doesn't like him. So if we could get her opinion of us up significantly, she would join the plot. Maybe it's time to start swaying her. Yeah, let's we'll start swaying her instead. I can also send her a gift. That is uh, his wife as well, so... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what we can do here. Now, she's got positive three, so we're past our base reluctance. Now we're just getting over our moral qualms. Yeah, we can do this. Possible. Uh, I'll keep auto-invite plotters on. We'll see if anyone joins. Right. My wife, Matab, tells me she is pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Oh, we have doubts again. Well, I'm going to hire someone to... F oh, he's dead. Fantastic news. I'm going to hire someone to find out again. To the magnificent Emir of Ram. We request you honor your obligation to answer this call to arms against Caliph Ibrahim II. No. I think is really pretty much my answer here. Just a straight up no. Because there's zero prestige to the line. Right, we can now attack Emir Jabir here. Claim Fars. Nobody will join on our side? Uh, are you not got an alliance? We've got an alliance, so why would you not join on my side? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's just people who would join automatically. I think the claiming Fars is a good one, though. We have our full, um, yeah, we have our full army. We could potentially get a loan and hire some. Oh, no, we already got a loan. I haven't paid it back yet. Hmm. That's a problem. If our ally was going to join, we would be in a fantastic position to do this. I still think we're not in a bad position. We definitely have about the right number of troops. I'm going to do it. I'm going to declare a war for Fars. Right. We can call in our allies. Good. Well, I'm going to call him in. And he is going to accept, I think. Yeah. So we'll call him to war. We'll raise our levies. We'll try and merge up here. As we merge in there. Uh, these two are probably not going to make it. So I'm just going to disband them. I actually have doubts that one's going to make it. That's okay. Right. Blow it down. Move people in. Yeah, so those two definitely wouldn't have made it. Because uh, that army would have appeared. Right. Uh, by any other name. My lord! Emir Matab approaches me with uh, excitement in her eyes. Would you do me the honor of bestowing a nickname upon me, my lord? My wife. You want a nickname? You mean known as the Festive? The Dove? The Mule? Or more important things to do? You know what? The dove sounds very nice. He can be the dove. Right. Also, I don't need to sway this person anymore. Right. Merge up. The maid I hired to gain my wife Matab's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Hire more spies. Yeah. Okay. So the center here is going to be... Ooh, we don't have our good commander. Is he my uh, marshal now? Yeah. So we'll swap him out for my half-brother. Okay. Not that we're going to use him. So I guess we'll have our new unit clean the center. We'll have this guy. And we'll have our brother leading the other side. That's fine. Waiting for my ally to join the war. I did call him. I definitely called him in, didn't I? No, I guess I'll call him in again. See what he says. That uh, spies I hired at great expense to discover anything suspicious about my wife Matab and her pregnancy have failed to turn up anything at all. I guess the child must be mine then. That's because of our paranoid uh, one, by the way, reason we're getting all of those. Perfect, he's joining the war. I would like you to attach to my army. We'll see if he will. Seems like he will. Good. We have a daughter named Elham. Fantastic. So we have three daughters now. Interesting. Right, move down here. We have lost a siege. 
I do think we want to attack in, although it is going to be difficult. I still think it's the right option. Yeah, I think it's the right option. I think that we're probably going to... Mm, yeah, it's the right option. Rise of the Shia. The schism at the heart of Islam dates back to its earliest days. The majority of Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali and the Shias, forcing them into hiding. Uh, the partisans of Ali look to his descendants for leadership, but they are forced to keep their ancestry secret. Now though, the Shias are mobilizing their strength behind a boy whom they claim to be Ali's rightful heir and imam. Other Islamic jurists claim that the boy is clearly a fraud, but to his followers he is the person they have been waiting for, for now, uh, waiting for, and now they flock to his banner. Ha, the fools fight amongst themselves is what we've got there, so that would be this one. Yes, this guy. Which is wherever that actually is. Probably over in this guy's lands. Yeah. Okay, Northern Africa. Probably not a problem for us right now. Our problem is this battle. Okay. Um, their left looks like it's going to fall down because we have more troops there. Like we have double the troops on that one. So that's what we're hoping is that their left falls down. The center, we're hoping for an even one, although their commander is definitely better. Although most of their uh, stuff is in siege, most of ours is in... I suppose we have strategist, don't we? Yeah, we do have the strategist bonus as well, and the cruel bonus. We don't get the desert bonus, but, you know, it's still okay. Uh, he has heavy troop bonus as well, which he doesn't have that many heavy troops. And then on the left, it's pretty much a wash. Although we have a Craven, which is a bad one. That means we're going to get bad tactics on our side. We need that guy to not be leading. Okay. So our center is falling, unfortunately. We, mm, yeah, it's not great. Yeah, our center fell. And even though our left won, we, we lost that battle. That's really bad for us. Uh, did our brother just die? I think our brother just died. We do have a new leader. Oh. He's not a leader. Uh, although we might want him to be a leader. Just have a look here. Did our brother die there? He got captured. Oh no. That's really bad. Where are we retreating to? I'm no longer deceitful. Lies do hurt people. The truth, I think I can handle the truth. Okay, so we're retreating over here. That is real. Oh my, we're also losing a bunch of troops. Oh, they, they're just retreating in a different direction. That's fine. Father, father, calls Matab. Pulling my arm, pleading me to play with her and her latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in with love. Sometimes the kid can be really insufferable. You know what? We're going to neglect our responsibilities for her sake. Yeah, fine. Head down here. My wife is pregnant again. Uh, you no, know I'm going to trust her this time. We're a bit, we're too busy to be worrying about it. Okay, we need a new court imam. Uh, that's going to be watch, I think. Yep. Uh, he can go and convert one of these provinces. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to deassign him a job. I can then probably... I think I can use him in my in my armies then. No. But if he was a commander, then I can use him in my armies. To replace the six with him. I still can't use him, huh? I thought you could use your marshal. Wait. That's not my mar... Oh. Never mind. Is this guy someone? He's, he's my marshal, or he should be my marshal. He's my uh, steward. Yeah, stop collecting taxes. Then, if I make him my commander, which he already is. Now I should be able to assign him. Yeah, perfect. So we're bringing him out of retirement, effectively. Right. Move up this way. Would like you to attach to me. Uh, upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face, and feel the taste of blood in your mouth, dizziness setting in. Um, we're paranoid. We're not going to draw attention to ourselves. We're dead. 10% chance. Not great. That also gives him 100% in the war, which I just realized is pretty bad. Emir Aram has ascended to heaven at age 33. He died in an accident. Known to be an inspired and insightful poet, Aram delighted many at his court with his moving verses. Emir the Jamsp. The Jam Asp? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, being a stark raving lunatic and a deranged madman, the only one who can help uh, 
the Jamps uh, rule is Ahura Master. Long live Emir the Jam Maps. Yeah, so he's craven, he's a lunatic, he's wroth, he's well groomed though, but he's also about to lose the war. Yeah, that's fairly bad. Um, we also don't have an alliance here. Yeah, that's fairly bad in general, I would say. So we have a new um, heir, our half brother, who is frail. We have our regent as our mother, and we give it a second here. We should just about lose the war, but I'll move the troops over anyway. Doing that. Oh, we're not going to lose the war, and then we lost it. The regency is over. We've been released. To the most despicable Emir Dejam Masp, you child of a mangy dog, I accept your offer of peace. Well, we lost our money. We lost our war. Overall, fairly bad. We lost our ruler. I think it's time to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.